Welcome back. Uh, so this is the third video in a series on how to build a buy-to-let property empire. Uh, if you missed any of the previous videos, circle back. There's a few things that you need to be um, aware of before this. Um, oh, and don't forget to su subscribe. I've got today's instalment. Uh, in the last video, we talked about um, the property we're looking for, the size of it, the shape of it, where it is, um, a little bit of what it looks like, um, how much you'd be paying for it, its location, um, and there was a few sort of um, tips in there, some sort of mis common misconception that we, we tried to uh, correct. Um, we said we need to find the ha um, that kind of house, we, the kind of house we can, we can buy cheaply and add value. Think about the kind of place where a builder would buy it, do it up and sell it on for a profit, but we're not going to be selling on for a profit, we're going to be keeping it. It will probably be an ever so smaller, cheaper house uh, than the builder would be buying because uh, yields tend to come with smaller, cheaper properties. Um, it's just as much effort for that builder to buy a big house, do it up and sell it on, make a big chunk of money. We can't do that because the rent equals versus what it's going to be worth won't work, so the yield won't work. So generally speaking, single-let houses, the cheaper houses get better yields. Uh, we did decide that we're not going to buy in rough areas though. We had the areas 1 to 10, we're going to be buying areas 3 and 4. Not 1 and 2, and areas 5 and 6 are, um, we probably can't buy them. In fact, we decided we want something very, very specific, and it's going to be quite hard work to find it. Um, we're going to get very sure on the numbers, and we said that this isn't easy. I'd be doing you a disservice if I said it was going to be easy, uh, but it is going to be worthwhile. Um, buy to let doesn't work anywhere near as well if you bend the rules. So let's not bend the rules. And we decided that in the last video as well. So now, now we need to talk about how to find these elusive properties. Um, where to find them, who sells them, how much to pay, how to negotiate them. Um, it's a big one, so uh, strap yourself in. Let's, um, let's get going. First of all, I'm gonna save you masses of time, or some of you masses of time. Some people end up going down this um, rabbit hole, I've seen them. Um, you may have heard about uh, going direct to vendor. That would be placing adverts, um, sending out leaflets, getting the vendor of a property to come direct to you and negotiating the deal direct. Not only is it quite hard to get a mortgage on such a property, um, I don't want you to do it, at least not to start off with, uh, for a really simple reason, and that's that 90% of properties are available for sale by estate agents. You probably haven't got time to perfect a direct to vendor system. Um, it will cost you money to do it and you'll get mixed results while you're trying to fine tune it. Even if you do get it to work, um, you probably won't have time to respond to the leads. Uh, and even if you do, you've got a whole other learning process to go through to negotiate those kind of deals and bring them to fruition. So um, I mention it because I see lots of investors, particularly after having gone to an education course, um, work, working for you know, months to try and perfect this system. And um, I'm not saying that direct to vendor doesn't work, it does work and categorically it works. What I'm saying is you don't need to do it at this stage unless you want to buy 10 properties a month or even if you're in a position to buy 10 properties a month. Um, I don't think you can afford to risk wasting your time at this stage. And also here's the clincher for me. Um, I've bought a thousand properties and 950 of them have been through estate agents. So really simply, you don't need to do this. If you want to do it at a later date, Learn all the things we're about to cover off in the next couple of videos, buy some houses, and then you'll be much better equipped to do that. I'm not saying it doesn't work, I'm just saying I don't want you to spend your time on doing it now. So um, so you're gonna find properties from estate agents, which is great news because um, they've already found the houses for you and they've put them on the internet. So um, finding these houses, it, it's gonna be a lot, lot easier for you. Let, remind, let me remind you what you're looking for. You're looking for a property that's for sale between 50 and 100,000 pounds, sorry, 150,000 pounds, 50 and 150,000 pounds, uh, that you can spend 80% of that value on buying it and renovating it. So to give you an example, if that house is gonna be worth 100,000 pounds, you can only spend 80,000 pounds on buying it and doing it up. Therefore, if the renovation is gonna cost 10,000 pounds, you can only buy it for 70,000 pounds. 70 plus the 10, is the £80,000 that you can spend on a £100,000 house. Now, um, you do need to know all those three figures and also the rent before you even offer on a property. You've got to do all that work. And um, 
that's what we covered off in the first video, this golden formula. Um, maybe go back and watch it if you haven't watched it yet. It's getting more and more important, yeah? Um, my sincere advice to you as well is if you, if you can't find an area that gets even close to these numbers where you are, don't settle for uh, lower yields. Travel, absolutely travel. Um, and one of the biggest problems I hear from landlords looking to grow is, I can't find the deals. The, the, the biggest problem is I haven't got the money. And the, 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 probably the second problem is that I can't find the deals. Trust me, they exist, absolutely. There are two reasons you can't find the deals. One is that they are just not immediately obvious. Um, rarely are they immediately obvious. They don't smack you in the face. Um, some are, um, but usually there's some fiddling to do. That formula, um, you've got to do some fiddling, some bashing of in and just does it fit, some double checking, and it takes a bit of a while to actually get into that process on the on the first deal and many deals and ongoing. I still do it. You, you write it down. So, mm, yeah, do we need to do that? Do I have to check this again? Do we do that? Does it work? Does it not work? It doesn't immediately um, strike strike you in the face. Uh, and the second reason, and it's, it's the usual reason, is it's hard work. You've got to go through all this process, and you might not buy the property. And honestly, most people don't do it. But you're going to be different. You're going to do it. Um, I'll level you right now. You are not going to um, get 100% of what you need from this guy on YouTube, from any guy on YouTube. It's not gonna happen. Um, you're gonna need to get out there into the real world and start putting this pieces of the puzzle in that formula together and working some of it out for yourself. Um, you're gonna need to do what everybody needs to do and that's practice. So I'm, I'm not just gonna be showing you how to do this. I'm gonna start talking to you about how you could practice this as well, because I think that's quite important. Getting going um, and, and, and sucking it and see in, 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 in some ways. So, um, so just because we're, we're looking on the uh, the internet and only the internet, open up right move, it's as easy as that. Uh, I'm not gonna give a great big tutorial on how to use right people. Most people have figured it out by now. It's one of the most visited websites on the, uh, on the internet. Um, there are other portals, Zoopla is another one, and On The Market is another one. It is a fact that some properties are only listed on one of the portals, so actually when you get into this, you do need to be checking them all. Um, do a search, define your area, work out where you're going, you might need to try different areas. Um, set your limit from zero pounds, yeah? just because you want to buy a house for 50,000 pounds, it might be listed cheaper, maybe, sometimes. Best way to sell a house for 70, 80,000 pounds is to list it for 50 if you're an estate agent. Loads of interest, lots of people all around it. Uh, you, need, you need to, if you can, on the particular portal, you can on right move, exclude shared ownership, park homes, um, and the other one, whatever the other one, the other option, you don't want those. Um, so exclude those. There will be lots of properties. Now, there are some things you can do to narrow your search, uh, what, particularly while you're learning um, or, or we're just sort of doing some research. There's a keyword tool just up here uh, on right move. I'll do a screenshot of that in a minute. Um, type in you know, words like cash buyers, no chain, vacant, don't do them all at once, one, one word at a time, investor, modernization, price to sell. As soon as you put one of those words in, it will narrow the search and you'll start to see the, uh, I did it I did it here in an area, and like I said, I'll, I'll put some screenshots up on there. You know, places that are um, you know, empty properties, it means the vendor's moved out, and they might be keen to do a deal. Um, shoddy looking properties, old kitchens, or bathrooms, those kind of things, extra rental properties, that kind of thing. The kind of thing that you could buy, do up, and um, add, add, add value. Uh, having two agents on there, that's sometimes a good thing as well, it means that the, the, the vendor might be keen to do a deal. However, if you're doing this for real, uh, not just a practice. Those keywords are all well and good, but honestly, you need to look through all of them. Right there, that search was 600 properties. If, if I was you, I'd look through all 600 properties. Like I said, this is hard work. Um, if you don't, I will, and I'll buy, I'll find the one in there. Often, we buy a house that's been on the market for two years, so I would look through them all. Um, you're gonna look at the properties on the screen, and you're gonna try and work out if they could meet the golden formula, that 80% rule. Um, and here's the truth that no education course will tell you, that's virtually impossible. Uh, particularly for somebody who doesn't, to start with, somebody who doesn't know quite what they're doing. You can't just look at the screen, uh, certainly not as a beginner, because you'll be asking, how much is the end value? How much is the renovation gonna cost? Uh, and and what is, what's it gonna rent out for? Also then you'd have to be in the lucky position to be known, liked and trusted by the estate agent that is selling this house to get your offer accepted. Um, 
I'm going to answer as many of those questions as I can in the video. Practice is the the, the other secret, the key to it. Um, but you aren't going to listen to six videos on YouTube and put it all together and, and, and buy houses. You're just not going to. If you're serious, you're going to have to practice putting all this together. I can show you how to do that. And later on, we're going to launch another playlist, which is um, people asking questions and getting them answered. So, you know, there'll be some support there for later. Um, I'm, I'm really good at this. Uh, I'm, I'm quite a modest chap, but uh, it's only you watching this and it's pretty much the only thing I'm good at. Um, but it can take me five to 15 viewings to buy one house. It's gonna take you quite a lot more to buy your first or second or third house. You might get lucky, you might not. You might be better than me. That's also totally, totally possible. Um, watch the rest of these videos. Then I've identified some houses online using this right move, Zoopla, whatever and then just go out there and have a go. Uh, book some viewings and do some practice. Um, before you do that, I've got a couple more things to share, share with you, so stick with me for a second. So I wanna show you a few, few things about uh, estate agents, dealing with them, because you are gonna walk into estate agents, either in practice mode or real life mode. Um, and I've got two little gifts for you in a minute as well. So practice, first of all, I would not do this in the area. If I was just practicing, I would not do this in the area where I really think I am going to be buying. You will burn your contacts. You'll annoy some people, potentially. You might look like you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so maybe just look a little bit further down the road, somewhere where you're actually not gonna be buying. Maybe go further, so that when you actually find your real spot, it's closer, you know? Um, try just speaking to one estate agent while you're practicing, so you don't wanna, why, why, why bother three or four or five? Um, and, and get all your learnings done in front of that one person. Um, say all the silly things to that just one person. Here's some things you really need to know about when dealing with estate agents. First of all, they're busy. Uh, they're quite often run from pillar to post and they aren't quite as, they're not as, as focused on just you or even the customer. They're focused on the vendor, they're focused on getting paperwork done, they've got targets. Um, final one, they really don't need another buy to let investor like you, particularly not a, a newbie, an unknown quantity that they don't know, like and trust, you know. Um, they've already got loads of those. Every 10 minutes, almost not an exaggeration, if you want to sit in an estate agent, just uh, you know, sit, sit there, look at the window, leafing through their, uh, their, their leaflets, you watch. Almost every 10 minutes on a busy day, uh, uh, an investor walks in, investor in inverted commons, walks in, sits down, um, they talk too much, they ask dumb questions, um, they, they sort of belie their uh, newbie status, um, it's not an, ed an estate agent's job to educate you on what you're doing. They're busy. Um, they've already got somebody who's going to buy it on speed dial. 99% um, out of 100, uh, yeah, 99% out of 100 uh, of these investors are a waste of time. Uh, it's just a fact. That's not an over exaggeration. So, more often than not, they just won't pay your attention. They might give you a bit of lip service for, for five minutes. If they start talking to you for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, the very best you're going to get is an average deal sold off the shelf. Here's a nice one, sir. Buy that. You'll get that. You just won't get the, yeah, you go into a estate agent. You'll get a good service, uh, retail service, if you're a retail customer. If you're the wholesale under the counter, I want those good deals. First of all, you can't ask for them. That would belie your newbie status as well, wouldn't it? Um, but you've got to sort of work to get them. I'll show you how to do that. Um, Think about this really common scenario, man, woman, couple, walks into a estate agent, takes a seat, and starts asking some questions. You know, what are the best areas to invest in might be a question. It might seem like a simple question, but what they're really asking, they're saying, I don't know where the best areas are myself, and I want you to waste your valuable time educating me. It's not their job. So put yourself in the estate agent's shoes. The golden rule, say as little as possible. Just shut up. Um, know this. An estate agent has on their speed dial all the investors they could possibly ever need to sell a house to. You can get on that list. I'm going to show you how to do that. It will take a couple of weeks, a couple of months. The best and easiest way is to be serious about buying a house and go through the process of buying a house. So we'll show you how to do that. Uh, that's the way to get their attention. Um, now, if you're practicing, you should probably book on the phone, not show your face. But if this is for real, by the time you get to it for real, um, find the properties online that you want to view. You're not asking the estate agent, you've decided. You might be wrong, but this is practice, and if you're wrong, you don't buy them. You've got to decide yourself. Work it out. I've got 10 properties that I want to view with four different estate agents. 
I write the addresses down in my book and the estate agent's address is two and I walk into the estate agent on a weekday, not a weekend, uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday's best, um, walk into the estate agents on in person. Um, know that the first person you speak to who takes your card, I don't mean your business card, oh by the way, throw away those Vista print business cards, get rid of them. That is the number one giveaway. Vista print business card with a picture of a house on it and saying, um, we buy your house or we're investor or we pay a referral fee. You're straight in the circular file and laughed at a little bit because uh, it's like you need that business card to you know, do that. I've never had a business card in my life. Never, don't need it. Bought a thousand houses. Um, so yeah, the first person you meet, the estate agent you meet in that, that uh, estate agent office, they're the one that's gonna be with, they'll take your card, it's called registering you, they'll be with you for forever. So maybe pick a plucky one. You could, you could you know, look through the window, sit down, the one that's nearest the front desk, that's usually the one with the best desk and that's usually the best estate agent. Not always, but yeah, often. Um, don't do a massive introduction of who you are, you know, all your hopes, dreams, fears. I'm an investor, I want this, I want that, I've been that. Um, whatever you do, do not say you've been on an education course. Never say that. Even if you have. I'm not saying that education courses are bad at all. Just don't say it. Estate agents will um, they'll snigger at you behind your back, honestly. I wouldn't if you've been on an education course. Um, I think you're doing your best to get educated, but don't mention it, honestly. Um, don't tell them what you're looking for to start with. That's gonna come later, but don't sort of blurt it all out there to start off with. Um, what you want is what everybody wants, and vocalizing that isn't gonna help. It's not gonna get you any closer to it. Um, you can get them keyed into what you want a little bit later with the conversation. So simply refer to the property that you've written down that you wanna view uh, and say, I'd like to view that property, please. Um, and then shut up. Uh, just stop talking. Uh, they'll want to register you, um, so give them your details. Just say they'll write them down on the uh, on the on their CRM system. Um, say you're a cash buyer. A cash buyer isn't obliged to stay a cash buyer, but it's good if you're registered as a cash buyer. You might buy a house three weeks down the line and not be a cash buyer. You can tell them then, can't you? But let's be a cash buyer for now. Um, you, you might be. Um, tell them you want two or three bed freehold houses for between 50 and 150,000 pounds. And we discussed that already, didn't we? At an absolute maximum, if they start showing you some other properties, you know, they go to the wall and start showing you other properties. Uh, you know, they'll probably be nice already done up properties. That's what you'll get. Um, say something like, no, they're too nice. Um, I've got a building team I need to keep busy. Um, I like the smelly houses, I like this. If it smells a wee, think of me. It's, you know, it makes them laugh a bit, but it also sticks out and it's true. Um, Bear in mind, um, yeah, they're the houses you want. So don't start bending and say, yeah, I'll go see that. Don't try and um, sort of placate them by doing a viewing that you don't think is gonna do it. Just, I want that, 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 that. You'll find some houses that are gonna look like they've had a decent chance of fitting the golden formula. Then do the, do the viewing. Now, if you read the last, or watched the last video and downloaded the viewing sheets, great. There was a video to watch with those as well. If you haven't, do it and watch the video. If you downloaded the sheets, not printed them off or not watched the video, do that now. I guarantee that if you use those viewing sheets the way they're intended and keep a record of them the way that I show you in the video, you'll buy 50% more houses. Um, it's a fact, I know it. Um, 500 of those thousand houses came from using those viewing sheets in the way I said. So do that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna put, put a link in so you can go see examples of houses that I've bought and renovated. I think it could be useful for you. Um, you know, I said I bought over a thousand houses. Um, we videoed, videoed almost all of them from start to finish throughout the renovation. Um, for our clients, for me, for a team, they're a weekly update. We video them as a record to send out as a weekly update in the moment. For you, uh, it's a great place to watch a thousand houses being bought and renovated. Um, it might not be the most interesting and exciting viewing, but I didn't say this was gonna be interesting and exciting. I just said it was gonna be profitable. Um, so I'll put that link in the description, go look at that. Finally, and I know that I haven't shown you how to calculate an offer yet, that's on purpose. You can't calculate the offer until you've done the viewing, worked out how much the property will be worth, and then worked out how much it's gonna cost you to get it there. So we're not doing that yet. We'll do that in the next videos. Um, speaking of the next videos, I'll see you in the next videos. Bye for now.